we've got some drama. Jimmy Butler has been traded to the Miami Heat for Josh Richardson. He's going to sign a max contract, a four year deal. And then the 76ers, they're going to sign Al Horford to a four year deal. Whoa. First, we'll talk about the Miami Heat. Heat fans shouldn't be too surprised by this because there's been rumors like this for the last few years. When he was first being traded at the deadline, the Heat were trying to get in there. They couldn't quite get it. And if you're in the Miami area, you've been hearing about Jimmy Butler, but the mainstream media has not said anything about Butler to the Heat. That came as a surprise. They're shocked. You got to give it up to Dwayne Wade. He's retired, but he still found a way to recruit the next star to Miami. It looks like the Heat have a plan maybe for next offseason as well. So more sign and trade possibilities. So very interesting to see them get one of the big free agents. And this is bad news for the rest of the league, actually, because Kawhi Leonard now. He was thinking about going to the Clippers. They were thinking maybe we can get Jimmy Butler and Kawhi. But now that Jimmy Butler's out of the picture, the Lakers, they should be feeling pretty good about themselves. Maybe they can get Kawhi. The only way Kawhi doesn't go is if maybe he doesn't want to play with LeBron. Maybe he's a little bit too competitive. If Kawhi teams up with LeBron James, then LeBron is always going to have more rings than Kawhi. But if Kawhi goes to his own team and he's able to win again, he can either tie LeBron James or maybe even pass LeBron James in rings. So that might be something that's on his mind. We don't really know. Kawhi just says he wants to win. So if he just wants to win, how does he not win if he goes to the Lakers? Right? That makes sense to me. But hey, we'll see what happens. This is getting crazy. Now we got to talk about the 76ers. The 76ers were able to re-sign Tobias Harris to a max contract. Obviously, they just traded Jimmy Butler, but they also signed Al Horford. And that is a problem for other teams in the league because Embiid, most teams can't defend him. And Horford is probably the best big to team up with Embiid because he stretches the floor, he still plays defense, he still rebounds. The Sixers lost J.J. Redick though. He signed with the Pelicans, but Horford, woo! And they're, they're gonna continue to have Ben Simmons being the point guard, obviously. It's gonna come down to Ben Simmons though. He has to develop a shot. If he doesn't develop a shot, they're never gonna win the championship. If he develops it, how do you defend this team? Their starting lineup is super tall. It's a glitch. But if they can just sag way off of Simmons like they've been doing in the playoffs this season, the season before that, that's going to be how you beat this Sixers team. So he needs to be in the gym right now. That's all he should do this summer. Don't even practice anything else. Just practice shooting. You don't need to work on your post game, your dribbling, your passing. Nah, all that's already good. You need to be shooting 10,000 shots a day. <laughs> You need to come back with at least a mid-range this season, and you need the three ball by next season. If they leave you open, you need to be able to knock it down. This free agency is insane so far. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments section. Heat fans, Lakers fans, 76ers fans, Celtics fans. What are you thinking right now? Oh, I got him leading. One of the funniest comments in the last video. Somebody said I got a quadruple double with 10 ankle breakers. <laughs> in this series, I've been cheesing with the ankle breakers. The Celtics.